Did he just say he's gonna eat me? Please don't. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Sorry, that's classified. Just drop by the public prosecutor's office. Esty, trust me. Better to handle this before it gets to that point. Think of it like that. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. There's something fishy going on with 89. I just know it. Did he have any idea what it was? Uh, what did he say again? Uh, something about fabrication or falsification? Data fabrication? Falsifying the effects of the drug? We don't need your mashed up bean shit. Oh yeah, we do. I love me some traditional desserts. Huh? Anarchy? Excellent. Our special bean paste is the part of our store, so I definitely recommend it to anyone who likes sweets. Ah, then I know just what I want. Well, I don't know why my PS4 is already cutting things up, but I guess it doesn't matter because I can't exactly quit in the middle of this to fix it because I hadn't saved my game and I don't know where my autosave is. So... Anyway, looks like you guys still haven't learned your lesson. Oh. Lesson? Wait, aren't you... The guy who kicked your ass? Yep. Ah, uh -huh. uh, I thought someone like this might, something like this might happen. So I brought five of my toughest boys along with me. Now, it's time for some sweet, sweet revenge. And after that... Some actual sweets, mm. Must we? Oh my god, what's going on? Something happened to my frames just then. I need to get that guy with the knife. Ow, yeah, just throw an entire mic at me. Get off for a second. No, get off of me! And then all of you people are in the way, so I can't run far enough to do anything. Okay, this isn't going so well. I don't have much room to move here, apparently. Okay, okay! What the? I look away for once? What? Oh, right. Okay, we are playing this game. What? I guess I just can't play it the way I want. What the hell? Are you joking? What is happening? I'm actually like, getting stun walked into these guys. Uh, what? Why are you so aggressive? I'm actually, like, stuck on it. Come here. Quality over quantity. No matter how many goons you throw at me, I'm still gonna end you're still gonna end up laying on the ground. If I were you, I'd take your sweets and get lost. Well, okay, maybe I will. I <sighs> don't You really did a number on those feathers. Again. Just doing my thing. Might I have your name so I can thank you properly? This is Yagami. Sure. I'm Takuyuki Yagami. I appreciate your intervention, Yagami-san. I'm sorry if it's not much, but please take these. It's one of our newest confections. Huh? Hey, it looks good. Thanks. No, thank you. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again. It will, though. 
Seriously, well, I'll see you around. What the hell happened in that fight? That guy was so aggressive. Never seen an enemy who wasn't like a like a boss or something be that aggressive. Okay, so now I need to go to I'm sure this guy's not gonna reset that fast, so. Maybe I'll run down to Yagami's office and then wait, maybe I need to eat his food. And then he'll probably be back around. to get the rest and get to the next chapter. a message for you from Kuroiwa. Says to drop by the Tokyo Public Prosecutor's Office. Izumita's waiting for you. Why'd you have to come here to tell me that? Would've been easier to talk on the phone. I got a bad feeling about all this. Huh? Feels like I'm never gonna see you again if you get yourself locked up now. Come on, don't be like that. Even if I do get arrested, I won't say a word about your little side job. That's what you're worried about, right? Yep. I might have to send someone to bump you off in prison, if you rat me out. <laughs> like you could pull that off. Aren't you busy dusting off Kuroiwa's boots? I'm laying low, that's all. Speaking of, I have a question for you now that you're off your leash. Why do they think I killed Shintani? They have to have a reason, right? You've got to know. Well, funny enough, I don't. Kuroiwa won't share a shred of info with anyone but his closest partners. Not sure why. Gotcha. Now, get over to the prosecutor's office. Sorry, but you gotta cover your own cab fare. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I know. Uh, okay, so I just have to take a cab. Nothing new on the map. Our friend is getting bullied. Let's go see him. And of course, I remember that there's a lot of stuff I need to make sure is wrapped up by February 28th because the Destiny 2 and Lightfall, and I'm not. Well, it's going to take forever, but since all my friends will be on there just doing that, it's what I've got to get on and do. So that's an extra big motivation to make sure my stuff in Genshin is also finished. What a waste. 
Wait, yeah, when Des when Whitefall comes out in Destiny 2, all of my focus is on Destiny 2 there. Like, all of it. Because I gotta play with my friends. It's also so that they can be like, hey man, you play the DLC, so now we can go do something else. <clears throat> Alright, today's the day for sure. I'm getting that money out of you no matter what. Yeah, we've been leaning on your mochi making ass for far too long. That reminds me, I want some more of that mochi from last time. It was so good, I practically melted in my mouth. <laughs> Oh, those. I'm glad you enjoyed them. They really are a treat. Oh, we do have plenty more available this time around. You can buy as much as you like. Good, good. I'll be taking one of each. Well, you know what? I'll just take the whole batch. Haneke, not again. Uh, these guys... Hey. You people really don't give up, huh? Uh? Damn straight. You're going down today. And would you look at that? I've got ten of my boys with me. <sighs> well, at least you put more effort in this time. Must we? Okay. We'll start off by grabbing you, and actually, that was the wrong decision. That was the wrong move, god damn. Whoa, okay, don't jump on him. He's not gonna help me out here. I, I saw recently that sometimes heat actions target the, the enemy with the highest health, and if that really is true, I hate that. Like, I absolutely hate that. Like, when I'm trying to- I'm not Get rid of that item! Is this really not count as a normal wall? Are you serious with me right now? Okay, this guy needs to stop being so damn aggressive. This is actually not cool. What the hell? Just get to the wall, please. Man, can't wait for him to have 20 guys next time. For the last time, stop bothering this guy. Do you understand? I don't... You know, if you really like my sweets that much, you can just have some. Here, that's on me today. <laughs> hmm, alright. Nothing beats the taste of your special sweet bean paste. Uh, Aniki, have you completely forgotten our mission? Huh? Don't give a damn no more. I decided from here on, I'm dedicating my life to supporting this shop. Then here you go. Don't eat it all in one bite now. Snatchies. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Let's head on back to the office. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Oh, yeah. And make sure to line up here tomorrow and buy me some more of them sweets. Aniki, what are you saying? Did I stutter? No, sir. Not at all, sir. Didn't see that one coming. Well, at least he's a fan of this shop now. Thanks again, Yagami-san. Third time's the charm, as they say. <laughs> Oddly enough, yeah. Oh, and if you'd like, you can have this as well. I can? Thanks. If it's tasty enough to make... Hmm. If it's tasty enough to make a Yagami-san forget about his protection racket, then it must be something special. <laughs> Well, there's nothing like dessert to make a quarter disappear. Guess that that... Can I stop having things happen with me so I can speak? Guess that's the magic of a traditional Japanese sweet shop. 
Don't I know it? <laughs> I really do appreciate your kindness. Jeez, I've got a giant boost. No worries. I'm just glad those goofballs finally cleaned up their act. Now you can make your own mochi in peace. Thanks to you, at any rate. Well, I must stop preparations for tomorrow. So I hope to see you again. Please take care. Ouch. That dude was super aggressive for like no reason. Took a big old beating to my health. It's probably just EX boost more. Out of the way. You know what? Oh, I think I see how to do this one guarantee. Losers. Oh my god, Yagami, what was that? He went flying in the air. awesome. If I had a full EX boost against Mr. Try and hit me, would I have hit him? I feel like I still need the combo speed. Uh, I still have to record one more after this anyway, so I doubt this is even going to take that long anyway. I've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. Rolling out the red carpet, huh? Izumita was hoping you'd lower your guard if I was the first person you saw here. <laughs> the man never changes. He loves his mind games. Yagami-kun, how did they convince you to come? I heard your pal Izumita wants to chat. And, depending on what I say, he may or may not try to arrest me. Hmm. I'm not sure it'll be quite like that. Huh? Then what's it gonna be? Well, you're about to get thrown to the wolves. Hey, Mafu, you. Good luck. Excuse me, I've brought Yagami san. Much appreciated. Alright, asshole, what do you want? Huh? Even the chief prosecutor's in on this. Please, come in. <clears throat> I don't want to arrest them. A room full of prosecutors, huh? Yagami-sensei. I believe Kuroiwa-san already told you this. But we want to talk to you about Shintani-sensei's murder. However, this is not a courtroom. And we're not strangers. Or wolves. Just try to relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, What's so relax. funny? Right. I'm not telling you what you want to hear, though. You want me to say I killed Chintani, right? Sorry, not happening. <laughs> the burden of proof's on you, anyway. So why don't we start there? Why do you think I did it? Yagami-sensei. Where were you on the night of Shintani-sensei's murder? Answer my question with another question? <laughs> That's not very nice. Do you have an alibi for that evening? You heard of a company called KJ Art? The place is a front for some Kansai Yakuza, the Kyore clan. On the night of the crime, I was near there with their captain, Shioya. He'll back my story up, I'm sure. And care to explain why Shintani Sensei's corpse was found in your office? I was hoping you could tell me. Maybe the real killer could answer that for you. Naturally. That's why I called you here. Hmm. Damn it. They had no intention of listening to what I had to say from the start. Of course they didn't. Mind if I interject? Go right ahead, Morinji-san. Yagami-san, you stole a look at Shintani-sensei's call history before the police arrived, yes? Not long before his death, he placed a call to the Advanced Drug Development Center. 
Knowing that, you barged into the center and interrogated both Kido-san and Shono-san. Why would you do such a thing? I wanted to figure out what made Shintani a target. Who wanted him dead? Is that not the police's job? I couldn't leave it to them. Or the prosecution. After all, you guys have a bad habit of going after the wrong guy. Kinda like right now. I see. So you mean to imply someone else killed Shintani-sensei? Do you have anything that could prove that claim? The burden of proof rests on the prosecution. It's not my place to take on such a heavy responsibility. There's no need to be like that, Yagami-san. It'd be an honor to hear your thoughts on the matter. Oh yeah? How about someone says please? Please. Great. I'll tell you what I know. This is to my benefit, too. This way, I can find out how the prosecution sees Shintani's case. Before we get to Shintani's murder, there are a few things I need to cover. One year ago, the ADDC published a research paper on a new drug they were developing called AD9. This drug has gained global recognition as the thing that may finally cure Alzheimer's disease. What hasn't gained recognition is the fact that someone from the ADDC was murdered six months ago. An ADDC member murdered? Who? Just say it's Shono. The vice director, Toru Hashiki. Hashiki was seen arguing with a strange man in Kamurocho before being found lying beaten in the street. He died in the hospital three weeks later. The culprit is still at large. Did you know of this case? It's the first I've heard of it. Understandable. It didn't make many headlines. Incidentally, this Hashki guy had a pretty big secret. Uh-huh. Turns out he was working for the Kajihira Group, a massive construction company based out of Kansai. Kajihira was planning to redevelop the land the ADDC sits on. He'd already settled it with the Minister of Health, had the Kyore clan muscle in on the turf too. But the plan fell apart when AD9 was announced. Kajihira ended up taking a pretty big hit. To the tune of 100 billion yen, what? That's when Hashiki came in, swearing to Kajihira that he'd scuttle 89, no matter what it took. <sighs> Just before he was beaten half to death, Hashiki went out with another member of the ADDC. Someone deeply involved in the development of 89. Someone he thought he could manipulate. <coughs> oh boy, I didn't get to moving fast enough to muting myself at all. Who was the 89 employee that Hoshki met with before he got killed? I'm sure you recognize this man, Izumira-san. Three years ago, he testified about the murder that had taken place at the ADDC. He claimed he had seen the victim, a patient by the name of Waku, still alive. I remember him. You're referring to Dr. Shono? Mm-hmm. He's also the head of the 89 research team. Hashiki was grilling Shona, convinced that there was something fishy going on with 89. Like what? He thought they had fabricated data and falsified the effects of the drug. After all, it wasn't until rumors of closing the ADDC started swirling that Director Kido suddenly announced 89. Hashiki was convinced it was all too convenient to be coincidence. But that doubt didn't sit well with those who stood to rake in massive profits off 89's development. Are you implying Hashki's murder was premeditated? <laughs> Sounds like we're finally on the same page, Izumida-san. I had the exact same thought. <sighs> Taking all this into account, doesn't it seem like there really is something fishy about 89? Hmm. That should do it for the explanation of 89. Now to bring this full circle. But let's get back to Shintani. Just before he was murdered, he 
called the ADDC and tried to get in touch with a very specific someone. Maybe that phone call provoked whoever is trying to hide the truth about 89. Shintani was an obstacle, just like Hashiki. He had to be removed. What I'm saying is, there's a chance anyone who gets too close to learning the true nature of 89 is being murdered. And if you haven't investigated down that path, then one thing's pretty clear. You have a lot more work to do before you can arrest me. Wouldn't you say? Answer me, Zabita! Snipping. If you still want to bring me in, let's see some proof. All these prosecutors, nobody's got any proof. <laughs> That's quite a theory, Yagami-san. Truly fascinating. There were details in there even we weren't aware of. You've clearly done your homework. I'd be glad to hand over my findings if it'll help. After all, 89's practically a household name at this point. Lifting the lid on it might be too much for me to handle all on my own. And besides, I think I'd rather work with you than Izumita here. What do you smell? You're dead? You need to lose the attitude, Yagami. Sorry, I need to take this. Yes, hello? Is that so? Yes, you've done excellent work. Thank you. They're gonna say they can arrest him now. They got some bullshit. Just so you're aware. The prosecution has made a coordinated effort with law enforcement. We've already submitted a request for the court to issue a warrant. I'm sorry for the call. But that was the verification of our request, you see. You're still gonna arrest me after all this, huh? Fortunately, you're not the one under arrest. What? Uh-oh. I wouldn't celebrate. We're not done with you just yet. It's in the interest of closing the case. Listen here, Yagami. You know who Shintani's killer was? It's your old friend, Ayabe. What? No, you're Stray not gonna give me that a recovered bullshit. bullet are a perfect match to his firearm. There's no doubt. He's the one. <laughs> like it or not, he's going down. Ayabe didn't do it. Kuroiwa grabbed hit Ayabe's gun and used it. We already know Kuroiwa doesn't like Ayabe, and Ayabe doesn't like Kuroiwa. of the city, the death of the ADDC's vice director hardly made a sound. Behind his death are the vast profits of the AD9 drug. Yagami arrives at the possibility that all the deaths were premeditated. But the prosecution's eye for such detail is wanting, and Detective Ayabe is indicted for Shintani's murder. Striations on the recovered bullet are a perfect match to his firearm. There's no doubt. He's the one. <laughs> like it or not, he's going down. Apologies for keeping you in the dark. It was imperative for Ayabe to be completely oblivious to our suspicions of him, after all. This is a murder charge against an active officer. To put it plainly, it takes more effort to actually make an arrest. So, we had to pretend you were our primary suspect. You and Ayabe have gotten to be pretty cozy these days. Man, just yes. shave off the rest of that damn hair. So this was all some kind of act? An act? Not at all, I assure you. And I believe you should know. We're aware of Ayabe's side job. 
Ayabe was an informant, a spy. He was selling police intel on the black market. We plan to investigate those transactions thoroughly, Yagami-san. And so, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if we see you again in the near future. Speak of the devil. We were just talking about you, Ayabe-san. Listen, Yagami, you gotta help. Someone set me up. They're saying I killed Shitani. Me. Me! Uh-huh. You're not surprised? Not quite. I already heard. I'm sitting here with the prosecution as we speak. Huh? Yeah, 